So here we are, the very start of the proper user-facing beta phase for Android 12, which, you guessed it, means more top new features to dive into, so let's get into it. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we properly get into the meat of the video though, if you have a Pixel 3 or newer made by Google device, or even some devices from the likes of Xiaomi, OnePlus, Asus and more, you too can enroll up on the Android 12 beta and enjoy a lot of these features for yourself. While we haven't been running it for quite long enough to decipher, we know each beta build is going to be fairly stable compared to the developer preview builds, and it's probably stable enough to run on your main device, then again we don't recommend it for everyone, as you might encounter some bugs here and there. With that warning out of the way, let's get into the meat of the video. So one of the biggest changes in the Android 12 Beta 1 update is evident right away on the lock screen as Google has got around to revamping the look and layout. We saw evidence of a change of design here previously, but it's fully live and kicking now with some notable layout alterations, including how you're always on display looks when you have notifications waiting for you. This is all part of the wider material U changes that were touted at I.O., but notifications and clock are no longer centralised most of the time. The date, local weather conditions, alarms and any notification icons are all shifted to an upper left position with various font changes that make the changes instantly stand out. Also, another part of the lock screen layout changes in beta 1, the clock itself is getting much needed attention here too. The font will switch between a thin and bold font when you lift your device or tap the display, it shifts too, based upon just how many notifications you have waiting to be open or dismissed. It can take up what appears to be almost the entirety of your display and appear centrally or move around in various positions. This also works in do not disturb mode if you haven't yet seen that larger digital clock and want to check it out for yourself. We are hoping though that Google would give us more customization options here, but it is a much more interesting lock screen, that is for sure. The final lock screen tweak is to the pin input screen itself, which now has large rounded keys that animate when you tap them with a slight particle zoom and icon shape change when activated. It's quite a big change from the previous minimal input screens that we've seen on Android previously. Swipe down into the notification shade and you'll instantly spot what is arguably the biggest UI change in Android 12 Beta 1. No longer are toggles small and compact, they are large and in charge with rounded rectangles clearly set to dominate across all facets of the OS. The new layout means that only two toggles are available per row, with a fully extended notification shade having room for eight in total. That isn't great for overall utility and we can foresee this being yet another divisive change as there have been a few already through the Android 12 developer previews. That's not all though, as there are tons more tweaks here to unpack. The display brightness slider is now thick and rounded, while the settings and edit toggle buttons are now larger and more prominent just above the section dedicated to any notifications themselves. A notable but fairly minor change is another new animation when making selections within menus and activating toggles throughout all areas of Android 12 Beta 1. Tapping certain areas and regions will trigger a particle effect that dissipates towards the left and right sides of your screen. It's hard to spot sometimes, but it is most visible in the notification shade and the settings menu when you are making alterations. We mentioned in previous Android 12 developer preview builds that your system icon shape did have a major bearing on things such as widget accents and edges, and this continues in beta 1. All legacy widgets now have rounded corners no matter what icon shape you do choose, but strangely, pop-up menus don't seem to adhere to these softer edges if you have chosen squared off icons. You can see this softening of edges across all areas of Android 12 Beta 1, and it's expected to be far more prominent as the betas progress. The Google Assistant is gaining yet another activation method in Android 12, with Hold for Assistant letting you press and hold the power button to bring up the AI helper. This means there are actually currently three activation methods as of Android 12 Beta 1, including voice, a corner swipe, and now holding the power button. One downside though is that with this enabled, it will replace the power menu shortcuts and cards and passes options, at least for now. In future builds, you'll be able to add smart home toggles and Google Pay options to the notification shade for quick access, 
At this stage, it's clear hold for the assistant isn't quite in its most finished state. And although not live in Android 12 Beta 1, Google is still clearly working hard on the double tap gesture to the back of your device with a new icon and even more options to launch directly into a specific shortcut. This has been in the works for some time, most recently known as Codename Columbus, so we do hope it eventually gets fully activated in a future build, but it was worth at least a mention in our eyes. So that's our top new features as part of the first Android 12 user phase in beta, which according to the official timeline should be the very first of four builds total direct from Google ahead of the stable release sometime in September 2021. It's going to be an exciting time for the world's biggest mobile OS, and we're going to guide you through every single step culminating in that full release itself. Unlike the developer preview phase, this of course is the first build aimed at end users, but again, that doesn't mean bugs and potentially unforeseen problems won't appear on your smartphone. We're happier to suggest installing, and you can just enroll on the dedicated beta site for your device, and we'll leave links in the description. But it's worth noting that leaving the beta phase will restore your device before downgrading it back to Android 11, so only sign up if you are happy to join, and this risk is not a problem to you. With all of that said though, what are your favourite features so far or what you've just seen? What are you also hoping for in the upcoming beta builds? Be sure to let us know down in the comments section below. And if this video manages to get 3000 likes, we'll share our custom beta one wallpapers directly with you. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.